Hi, it's Sharon Sheldon here from Business Content PLR, and in this video I'm going to show you how you can remove backgrounds from images in Microsoft PowerPoint so that you can create slides that have a nice big impact without any distracting background. So you can go from something like this image, where there's a background, to making it bigger and filling up the whole slide and just having no background there, just the slide background, which has a much bigger impact. So I'm going to do that with one of the other slides. This is from my Power Networking for Results um, slideshow on one of my training programs. And here's one I'm going to show you. Now this person is a picture from within Microsoft PowerPoint and there was a background on there. So let me show you how I removed it. I created a slide here that does not have the picture. And what I'll do is go into Insert up at the top, Clip Art. And I'm going to go over here, and I think the keyword I used was listen to search for something. And I'm only going to search for photographs because I don't want any, any actual clip art. I want photos. So I'm going to click go, and let's see if I can find that image. Here's the image. There are a lot of other ones you could pick from. I cho chose listen because this is about um, looking at the skills you'd use in your business networking, and listening is one of them. So I'm going to click on that. And here she is. I'm not going to worry about placement on the slide right now. I'm just going to get rid of the background and show you how to do that. So we don't want the back white background because we want her to just be sitting on the page. So I'm going to go to remove background. Firstly, I have it all, all highlighted, the picture on, on the format tab. So I'm going to click on, on the left here, remove background. What's going to happen is Microsoft is going to put in purple anything it's planning to remove. So first, I don't want there's some of this I don't want removed, so I'm going to just raise that up a little and make sure this cropped area that they've outlined um, includes everything that I want in the photo. So I've included everything, and actually, because this is a pretty clean photo without a lot of um, different colors in it, they've already gotten pretty much everything I think that I want to get rid of. So I'm going to click on Keep Changes up at the top here on the left. And there it is. We've taken out the whole background quite easily. And then you can start repositioning on the slide wherever you want. So I could just leave it like this. I could move it over, move the text over, whichever I want. So now let's try it with a different one that might be a little bit harder. So I'm going to delete her and go back into the listen. And let's see, let's pick a different one that also has a decent amount of contrast. Um, let's try, oh, this is so cute. I have to try this one. This one might be difficult because there's black and white on here and blue, so there's more colors, and they also have a little hair there, which might confuse things. So I have it highlighted. I'm in format. I'm going to click on Remove Background. Now already you can see that it's planning to take out way more than we want. So first I'm going to make it bigger and see if that fixes things. So make sure I include all the parts of the slide, all the, sorry, all the parts of the picture that I want. So that's still not great. This is not going to... Okay, so most of it is there now. Now comes the tricky part. Um, when you have a picture like this and you need to keep parts that Microsoft wants to take out, you go up here on the left and you click on Mark Areas to Keep is we're going to mark off things that we don't want in purple. So click on that. And this is going to take a little getting used to. You have to play around with marking off um, the edges of things that you want to keep. So I'm going to draw a straight line there. And that kind of got it. Sometimes Microsoft will see what you're trying to do and it'll just pick, a, pick the whole area. See here it's still not. It's still thinking that I only want the tiny bit. And sometimes it'll just sort of click in. No, it's not loving this at all. Hmm, let's try down here. Well, it got the white there. That's good that we want it. Let's try down here too. Still having trouble. Now, if it does start getting really crazy, then um, I would just stop and either start over or just get a different picture. And I just realized that in here, actually, I did not want this blue bit. So I'm going to just discard all of this now and start over again with this so that you can actually see. 
So there you go. There's an example of not doing it correctly. So let's try again and again. Make it bigger. Get my whole area and better. So now we want to, what do we want to remove? We want to remove the blue, but we want to keep this bit of black from this puppy dog here. So I'm going to mark areas to remove now, and I want to remove that blue in the middle so that it's just the dogs that we see. And let's see if they can, oh, there. See, this time it just sort of figured it out. Now we do want to keep this bit, so we're going to go back up to the far left and we're going to say mark areas to keep. And this is going to be a little trickier. Let's see if it gets confused by the, the hair. Uh, I didn't figure that out yet. There's another way. You can try just going along the edge of the picture too. Let's see if we can do that. Yeah, there, it did it. See, it figured out that we were trying to do all this black. And I think that's everything. So let's click on Keep Changes. And there, we have it. Beautiful. Oh, I love this picture. It actually doesn't work brilliantly with this particular slide, so I'm not going to keep it, but it's a good idea to, to use in the future. And when you move things around, um, this one would actually be great as a full slide and just a little bit of text at the top. So that one looks gorgeous, but I'm going to say bye-bye. And I think that was it. But you can see one other one here. This one should be a relatively easy one to do also that would work quite well with this slide. So let's go to Remove Background. This will be my last one, I promise. Um, let's highlight just the areas we want to keep on her because it'll crop out the rest for us. And most of this looks fine. I don't think I have to change anything. Microsoft got it right, so let's keep changes. And there you go. There's another one that we could easily use with the listening slide. And that's it. So give it a try. And if you do start getting stuck where you're spending a long time trying to remove a background, just stop. Don't drive yourself crazy and either start over and play with it a little more, or like I did with that puppy dog one, or pick a different picture. Hope this was a help. Have fun with it.